In this video, we're going to continue to eliminate the leftover elements. So I'm going to come down here and it's going to be this last section here that is missing. I'm going to start by selecting this text element and then I'm going to click through to the data panel and in the text field, I'm going to alter this placeholder to near me. Okay, I'm going to come down here in this flex layout this vertical list is going to list the locations that are closest to the user using the app. So I'm going to select this list and I'm going to come here to the data panel where I'm going to enable the data. And I'm going to come here to the collections and I'm going to select the sites collection. As you can see, all of this collections entries are listed here. I'm now going to select H6 and I'm going to come here in dynamic data and style in get text from sites and I'm going to select the title attribute from the main type reference. I'm now going to select the P3 element and I'm going to the same location and I'm going to select the title field. I'm going to the same location in dynamic data and style in get text from sites and I'm going to link this element to the location attribute. So here we're going to show the user how far they are from each one of these locations. To do this, it's going to be necessary to have a specific attribute in this collection. I'm going to have a look here in the sites collection. This entry, this location is selected. This field has been created as a result of the addition of the geolocation attribute. This field allows the content manager to place the latitude and longitude of each one of these locations. So this way, with this attribute, it's possible to calculate the distance that the user is from any one of these locations. Let's go back to the app now. So what we want to do now is show the distance in meters or kilometers. So we're going to come here to geoformat and choose the distance option. But we also have to come here to page and then to the data panel and enable this option here in the nav settings that says ask user for geolocation permission. If we activate this option, the user will receive a pop-up that will give them the chance to allow us to capture their location. We can only calculate their distance from any location once they agree to this. Okay, so now we're going to order this list based on the user's proximity to the location. Okay, so we're going to select the vertical list again and come here to the data panel. And down here in sort, we're going to change this condition here. So we're going to select another attribute, the location's geo attribute and the sort direction needs to be changed to ascending. This way, the first locations that will appear will be the closest to the user and then the furthest. All you have to do is edit. So with this done, we have now concluded our homepage from City Guide. In the next few videos, we're going to move on to the remaining screens that will complete this app. 